Let's go blues. Let's go blues. What are you wearing? A Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Canadian. And I'm a hockey player. <laughs> Let's go blues. Who are you, Blues fan? We're bleeding and blue with you. Let's go, Blues! Let's go, Blues! Let's go, Blues! to do some quick emergency repairs my um o-ring snapped on me right as i was coming on the air and it's got the mic kind of off position so give me a moment well well i do some uh quick repairs to this i think i can do them while you're while you're sitting here waiting uh, i've done it before uh we'll see here uh big game tonight and and I know I, I love you. You know, every game's important. Tonight is extremely important. If you want any chance, any chance to 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 possibly see the playoffs, you have to win tonight. You have to win tonight. I'll kind of do it that way for the moment. You have to win tonight on retro night. Uh they're wearing the 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 infamous Clown jersey. I I love these jerseys. I I I really, really do. I like symbolism, right? And for me, and for me, um <laughs> oh, Brian Green, you're a nut. Um Yeah, you get to watch this one, don't you? Well, if you have well, it's on TNT, so maybe not. Um I'm not glad it's on TNT. I think this is the first TNT game, home TNT game we've had. I know we've had TNT games where we were away, but I think this is the first home one we've had. It might be. It might be the second. But um, for me, I, I love the symbol. This jersey, to me, is so full of symbolism. And, and I look at the red, and I think the red symbolizes St. Louis. And I've been told, you know, no, that's not why they did it. Da, da, da. Okay, maybe it's not. But that's what it is to me. You Well, you always watch it illegally. So there's nothing new there. Um, my friend thinks I look like a ketchup and mustard when I wear my tank throwback. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm wearing. You see the number? Right, that's what I'm wearing. Um, my tank throwback. I, I will wear it as long as I can. Uh, it does get very hot in here. Um, they're, they're, the Blues are in trouble, man. I, I mean, and and if you want any chance, any chance of making it, you got to win tonight. You got to win tonight. You 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 have a game in hand of, in, on a couple of teams, and, and and that makes it look a little bit better. But you got to win tonight. Got to win tonight. That's cool. I like the jersey. I really do. Dean is going to get a hat trick. Uh, that would be nice, but I don't see it. Is he, I didn't even see if he's in the lineup. I know I know they put the lineup out, but I don't remember. To be honest, I don't remember seeing his name on it. So let me double check. Um... My boy Kessel got two years. One way means he's probably going to be staying up. Uh, nope, he's not making his debut tonight. Um, yeah, but, uh, he's not in the lineup tonight. Um, I, I think he will be 
in the lineup in the next game. Um, I can't see any the person that I the player that I would sit. I would sit Kaepernick. I'm not sitting Torpachinko. I'm not sitting Walker. Maybe I sit Sunquist. Right, Walker can center that line, but I'm not sitting. You know, the majority of the guys. I still don't think. I still think you got to put Walker up there with Neighbors and Bullduke. Right. The, the last game, the Blues had goals, 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 and more goals, and they need to do that tonight. Bennington start, and you got to come out and play for Bennington like you've never played for him before tonight. You, you've you got to be so, so solid in front of him tonight. Uh, yep. Um, <laughs> that tells me Scandella won't come back. No, Scandella's not coming back. I could have told you that a long time ago. There, there was no... The Blues had no interest in bringing Scandella back. And, and, and I'm like nine, 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 999% sure of that. I'm going to try and hook this up here. My A... There we go. That's a little better. My um, ADHD was bothering me. Oh, I like the look. See, they look good in those uniforms. He looks relaxed today. I hope this pays off. Oh, I love seeing the reverse retros or the yellows. Right? I, I really love it. Uh, play better in front of Benner. Um, who has been great when they do. Yeah, absolutely he has, bud. Freeze frame. What do you mean freeze frame? Did I freeze? I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Um, I, I I am a big fan of these jerseys. I know I'm one of the few. I get it. I know they're called the clown jersey, and that's fine, but this is... I'm trying to see what Biz has to say, and and he's like one of the worst guys on on TNT. Oh my goodness, he's banging on Cairo without saying his name and and Thomas. Uh, you need to fi- I I'm working so it's on you, not me. I don't think anybody else is having problems. Might be your internet connection. All right? Though though I know at one point the last time I did this it did, like, I wasn't seeing comments when when everybody was commenting, and then all of a sudden they started popping up. So Aaron Coulter, John Hepner, Gina McMillan, and Jason Nichols, thank you. I so th- this is this this is really upsetting me. I knew he was talking about him. Oh, I don't know about that.
Oh, I don't like this. Uh, Lana, I don't know. That might be on you guys because I don't think anybody else is having issues. Anybody else out there having issues? I don't know. Maybe maybe on Facebook they're having some issues because um, I'm not seeing a lot of Facebook people. I'm seeing more. Uh, let me look. Maybe Facebook is having an issue. We had we had an issue the other day on Facebook, and, and um, uh, I'm trying to play it here. Uh huh. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there might be a Facebook issue. Yeah, that, that's a Facebook issue. Yeah, um, it's a Facebook issue. Issues with wrestling. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's Facebook issues. Uh, sorry about that. I, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, well, it doesn't surprise me. I've, I've had issues with Facebook here lately. Yeah, there, there's Facebook issues right now. Okay, sorry, guys. At least I know it now. Yep. Oh, well. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I can try and, and do one one thing. I don't know if it's, let's see if it's doing the same thing on the other end. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to come it up. Yeah, it's even, even on the Blue Note fan report page, it's doing the same thing. So I don't know, it looks like Facebook is having some issues. Guys, and like I'm not seeing any of E's, E's uh, videos here, right? Um, uh, I, I'm trying to sell myself as the most improved team on uh 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 hey windy yep i'm seeing your i'm seeing your yeah this is the facebook issue guys I am seeing your uh, comments, but I, I know on Facebook I'm cutting in and out. I apologize. Nothing much I can do about it. it, it it's just a Facebook issue. God, I need my team to do something tonight, and, uh, and I'm, I'm a man short. I needed to do a little better yesterday. Um, yeah, I was trying to sell myself. Um, we, we, we we have... Um, we're going to give awards away and one of the awards is most improved team. And, and I'm like feeling like I'm, I'm up for that. Especially when you look at, um, last year I was 16th. Uh, yeah, it's glitching last year. I was 16th <coughs> this year. I came in eighth and I was above eighth for a long period of time. Uh, last year, in the first round, I only won three categories and got, I mean, got destroyed. This year, I made it to the second round. And at the moment, at the moment, which I don't think is going to last, I'm leading my category. God, I need, I need Edmonton to get beat so bad today. Or Colorado, pardon me, Colorado. I need Colorado. I need Vancouver to just destroy Colorado today. All right. Uh... Bad signal on Facebook. Great here. Yeah. Um, YouTube is working well. Um, no, the blues are not consistent enough. I agree with that. Oh, let me see here. I, I'm, I'm really not like talking, talking about the game because I don't know what to talk about. I, Biz, Biz is like one of my hardest guys to watch. 
He is. He. I. I. I don't. I think. Um. I don't know. He's not for me. He. He. He's just not for me. I, he's really not. And and you know. I, sorry, man. You're you're just not for me. Right. You. 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 You act like you were this big ass great superstar in the NHL and you weren't and how can you sit there and bang on other guys for their contracts right you never earned a contract like that and they have right he's just not yeah the 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 two of the three guys that they have on that panel were not I mean I'm not I think two of the three guys they have on that panel have less games than one guy had in a, in, in in two seasons, you know. The the, the it, it, it it really, and I met I I I saw Aaron play when he was a junior in Japan, right, with for Team Canada. So yeah, I, he, he's yeah I I, I don't know. Paul Bissonette is not one of my favorites. And and I'll look it up here in a second. But we, we can do that. You know, I have we have the technology. P A U L E I S S Paul Bissonette. Uh, he was a hundred and twenty-first overall pick. Kind of low. Um, fourth round pick in all in the NHL. He played two hundred and two games. That's it. He had twenty-two points. In 202 games, 340 penalty minutes. I mean, come on. Uh, and the other guy is Aaron Carter, right? I think so. Aaron C A R. Uh, I might have his name wrong because he's not showing up. Um, Anson Carter. Anson Carter. Okay. All right. Oh, Ant- well, Anson did play in a decent amount of games. I, I will say this. Anson played in a decent amount, uh, amount of games. That's the right guy. Uh, uh, I got to double check that. Yeah, and, uh, so he did play. Anson played some games. I I was wrong, but he wasn't. Um, he had four hundred twenty-one points, and yeah, so Anson was pretty decent. He was he was a second, third liner, I think. But um, he, he he could score some goals. Yeah, I mean, I think in the NHL, the most he scored was thirty-two for the Oilers. In 0102, I want to say I saw him play juniors in uh, 91, 92, right, in Japan. So, 10th round pick, yeah. Uh, Let's see, are you guys still with me? 
Hello, buddy. Hey, Shagalicious. Hey, buddy. Uh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, making it known fish bowls are for real men. <laughs> um. Because the Barstool Sports and Spit and Chicklets podcast shows, yeah, I, I, I'll agree with that. Uh, sitting in a truck stop, three hours nap, and listening to you for a 9 p.m. delivery. Well, hey, Sister JJ, uh, be safe out there, bud. Be safe. Um, I'm Jack. People are betting the Blues are winning this one. What's everyone's pick? Yeah, what is your guys' picks out there? What's your picks? Uh, windy today. Can I handle a windy? I think I can. Uh, yeah, I think I can handle Windy today. Uh, the, 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 I, I mean, he's going to come at me with the Bedard greatness, but. There you go, Windy Delicious. All right. Uh. Aaron says three to two OT loss. John says four to two blues. BKL says win four to three blues. I'm going three to one blues. I need that. I need that type of win tonight. And I need Arizona. I need Colorado. I need Vancouver to just tear Colorado a new one. Uh, Shaggy, it's way too soon for you to come on. We're still crying over the new from the New York game. <laughs> of course, Wendy's going to say three to one LA. I, I I knew that was coming. Wendy will never predict the Blues to win a game. Never. Um, I, I'm saying three to one Blues. Bennington. Oh, oh, I didn't talk about this. Um, I like what Bannister's done with the lines. Hopefully they're firing on all cylinders tonight. I still don't, but they worked in the last game. I hope they continue to work. Shaggy says 5-4 to four OT Blues, Neighbors game winner. Uh, that I can't see. I don't think Neighbors gets enough OT time yet. Maybe, but but I, I, I'm not seeing it yet. Um... I, I just want to see the Blues come out with intensity. That's it. Come out with intensity and you got me, right? Come out with intensity. And, and, and not only that. Oh, what I was talking about. Uh, Walker and, and, and Swayman got into it. And Swayman took a swing at Walker. Absolutely took a punch at Walker. Nothing called. Nothing called. Bennington does that. Oh, my God. He's so bad. He's so bad. He's so bad. Right? It, 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 it's really... And you know who's to blame for that? Who is to blame for the way people think about Bennington? And it's not who you think. Well, we'll we'll see. I want to see who you guys think is to blame for the way people think about Bennington. Besides the rest of the game, usually, yeah. Uh, be relentless. Just like I'll never picture a cop. <laughs> I like that B&H. Not the media. Not the media. Oh, I think he would have too. <laughs> right? Not Chief. Tim Peel's fault. Not Tim Peel. <laughs> Oh man, you guys got to really think about this one. When did when did the 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 absolute negativity on Bennington? When did it shift from we love his feistiness to he's a punk? When did it shift? When did it shift? No, I have not had a chance to watch it. There you go. And it's not well, you are close. You are close, Aaron. That's when it shifted. Why did it shift? Why did the narrative on Bennington shift? 
and 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 don't answer yet because I know I'm pretty sure you know the answer to this. When I the narrative on Bennington shift it went from him just being uh, a passionate guy to to this negativity, and it shifted and it was in a, a, an instant shift. And I want to know who's at fault for that, and it's not who people think. I'm gonna, you know what, Wendy, take that back. Who do you think is the cause for that shift? I know your answer. It's going to be uh, Kadri. No, it's not. It's not Kadri. That's the incident that helps it shift, but that's not who's at fault for it shifting. Right. Are you going to? Would it be the TNT guys? Nope, not the TNT guys. It, it, before them. Ah, Ryan got it. Absolutely. That's what caused the shift. Right there. That caused the shift. The way Blues fans reacted to Kadri with the death threats and the, the, the religious stuff and all of that, that right there turned that narrative. That absolutely turned the narrative, right? That mm -hmm. turned the narrative on 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 Bennington. Because look at what Swayman did. Did you see the game against the Blues, Boston and the Blues? Swayman took a swing at Walker and, no, and I hit did him. Not. Swayman took a swing at Walker. I did not watch and, that. And, and hit him with the glove, hit him with the blocker. Nothing called. Hmm. Nothing called. Right. Right, so so it, it had so much to do with that that change of narrative. If the the fans don't react like they react, that Bennington Cadre thing never comes, never comes. Hey, Russ, how you doing, bud? How you doing, man? Um, Blues today extend Kessel. Right, the non hot dog eating one for two years with a one way contract. How do you guys feel about that? I am on board with it. Do you know what I'm talking about there? Matt Kessel, he was a fifth round pick three years ago, four years ago, three years ago. Uh, won a championship in the NCAA. I, I don't think he won an award, but he was close. It, it was depends like a, on a the uh, an dollar value. Uh, two years. Um, Eight hundred thousand AAV. What was the dollar? One point six. Two years. That's a cheap deal, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I, I, well, it, it, yeah. It, but it, what it does at an AAV of eight. Yeah, it, it's a cheap deal. All right. Scandell is gone. They're not resigning Scandella. There's three million dollars, three point two million that comes off the books. All right. And and you add eight hundred thousand, so so you really two two point six million. Oh wow! I can't watch the game. Oh, because I gotta watch it on son of a biatch. You can't. No, it's I, I'm in an L.A. market. I may not be able to watch the game. Hold on. Uh, it's, nope. Do you have I watch. Uh, Max? No, I have Bally Sports West. So I'm going do to have, have to watch Max the Kings. Or Max? Yeah, I do have Max, but it'll be blacked out. It'll be blacked out. Uh, it I have to watch be. it on Bally Sports West. I got it. It shouldn't be. Uh, they aren't on that. It's... Uh, it's the National League televised game today. It's nationally televised, but it's but Valley Sports West is the is is. It's only on TNT. It. Nope, I'm telling you, I've got it on Valley Sports West now with their announcers. Right. So. Uh, no, so uh, I'm going to try HBO Max here real quick, but I have a feeling that it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be blacked out because TNT blacked it out and it said due to local. 
So I'm guessing on Mac. Oh, I don't think I have Mac set up on this TV. Damn it. I have it on my other one. I don't have it set up on this one. Uh, uh, I'm, so I might be at a delay. For me, you guys got to understand, okay. I live... Yeah, so um, I think Ryan Green's going to come up with the same thing, that he's stuck. He can't watch it on TNT either. He's got to watch it on uh, Bally I, Sports. I'm in the St. Louis viewing market, and I'm on the uh, TNT broadcast. Yeah, well. In, through HBO Max. Yeah, but in L.A., they're doing it. I'm hoping this works. Let's see here if I can get it on Max. Uh, live. Watch live. See, nope. The event is blacked out in my location. So I have to watch it on uh, Valley Sports West. Wow. That sucks. I hate like. The Kings and the Ducks announcers are horrible. I mean, I can watch it. I might be behind, though. That's what I, the other fear I have. Let me know when puck drop happens. Uh, four minutes and 17 seconds. Okay, well, they're not showing. I still have their pregame. Uh, Ryan doesn't have cable. I, I have a uh, streaming service. He's on a free stream somewhere, yeah. I Say again, Wendy. Yeah, I'm headed up to Chicago this weekend, so I can't wait. Yeah, have fun, man. Ha have a lot of fun with that. What games are going on? Uh, TNT guys are still there. Blackhawks hey, Kevin, LA on Real quick, I, I need Kevin. Do you want to go to the game Saturday? I need to know that today. Um, if you're still using... I, I know you don't use... I don't think you use Facebook. If you do or you still use Twitter, send me a message. I need to know today if you want to go to that game. I, I, I need to know that today, bud. All right. That's the one thing with Twitter. I wish you could private message in Twitter. Or not Twitter. Uh, YouTube. I will be wearing right. this jersey on Friday at the game. Oh, yeah. That, that's uh, their St. Patty's Day uniform. Yep. The only what's nice about the Blackhawks, they used to be the only team to do a St. Patrick's Day jersey where it was based off their home jersey. Oh, okay. How is that based off their home jersey? What? How is that based off their home jersey? I will show you. <laughs> it's literally their same um it's based off the red jersey. Yeah. But just recolored. But wouldn't the white jersey, wouldn't the white jersey be the just the same, just a different color on the front, uh, you know, the main color? No. Right? Do they change the emblem or change the sides on the away jersey? What? The striping's so, different on the road jersey. Okay, the striping's different. Okay. That's what I was trying to get at. I thought that the road, they, they just changed the primary color. Ah, that doesn't look too different. This is the, I, I don't see. I don't see how the striping's different. This is the home. This is the home jersey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the striping's the same, striping the same on that. Jersey. Yeah. Okay. What's the, the striping one. on the away jersey? What? What's the striping like on the away jersey? What's the difference? Here. I mean, I'm at, I hope you don't think I'm being an idiot here. I'm asking legitimate questions because I don't know. I'm not an expert on, on jerseys. I admit that. Okay, yeah. That, yeah, absolutely. That's completely different. And that makes sense, right? That makes sense. I think they're fifth row seats, Kevin, so they're pretty good seats. If you want to go, they're yours. But I need I need to know first. And 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 oh, that's a, a, a someone's challenging me to write a, a thousand to two thousand words about Holden Poker. Uh, come up with a, a, a short story or something. 
I'll be wearing this hat at the game too. Hold on, I was looking at something else real quick, bud. Oh yeah, oh I like that. I actually like that. I'd like to have a blues hat like that. Um, this what do you think of this and that? A couple years ago. What? Okay, Kevin, you need to send me your email address to either Twitter or Facebook, and I need to get it today so I can send it to the guy giving the tickets away. Right? If you send it to me, I will send it to him, and then he'll forward you the tickets. You got to have the blues, out, bud. Oh, it's uh, Edzo and Kenny Alberts today on the call. Oh, for TNT? Yeah. What do you, what do you think of um, Paul Bissonnette and Aaron Aaron Carter? I'm not a fan of him, to be quite honest. I'm like, not Aaron. a big fan of his like, loud drop. mouth type analytics. Yeah. Well, he did – him and Anson did something today, and, and they're talking – they were talking about um, – Thomas and Kairou's contracts and them, quote unquote, not stepping up. And mm-hmm. Bissonette, he had twenty something goals in the in the NHN his entire NHL career in two hundred games. Not even. He didn't even have points. twenty. Yeah, There's I think he had twenty something points. Oh, yeah, he had right? like four or five goals in the NHL. Yeah, and, and, and he's gonna sit there and, and bang on someone getting their money. I, I just now I thought Anson didn't have a long career, but he actually, you know, in six hundred games, six hundred something games, he had four hundred something points. Yeah, he had a good seven. career. Yeah, he had a decent career. I saw Anson play in Japan as a junior. Hmm. Right. I, I I saw a junior tournament, the Pan Pacific tournament, and him. He was with Canada then. I thought St. Louis retired their '90s jerseys. Uh, I guess not. They're wearing. Them. I like them. I like them. I I like the the jersey. I I might be one of the minority there, but I like I like symbolism. And to me, that's the first jersey that the Blues really put a lot of symbolism in the jersey, whether they admit it or not. And I'm shocked LA's wearing their alternate jersey today. You know, because they're celebrating a, a, a first round playoff series in the '90s, where the Blues swept the Kings. Hmm. I wonder if L.A. will be wearing these uniforms on Friday. Possible. It is it is a white jersey. Yeah. I will be at the game on Friday. I wonder. Yeah. I just wonder how that chrome dome will look like in person if they're wearing it. Uh, I don't know if they'll wear it on Friday. I, I think It'll it's national games and Sundays. Jerseys. It's probably national games and Sundays. Let me check their jersey schedule. Every team has a jersey schedule. God, I hate listening to. I'm at 1801. Is that close to where you're at? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have a delay. I'm at. I'm basically at the same exact time. Yeah. They're, they're getting ready for a face off. Uh, Yeah. So, yeah, L.A. will be wearing these jerseys on Friday in Chicago. Okay. It's weird that they will wear their alternates in Chicago. I think I think it has to do with the, the timing. Are you guys celebrating something this weekend? St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yeah, I mean that might be part of it. I don't know why the I don't know why the Blues are wearing those. I mean, it just goes back to that. I mean, we play the Kings enough. I don't know why this game. I mean, I guess because it's a, a March game and it's closer to the playoff time. Uh, Kevin, are you going to send me a message on Twitter or uh, Facebook? Let me know. TNT right. put the uh, Blues logo that's actually on the '90s jersey on. Their score graphic. Yeah, they did that. Not uh, LA's got the current ones. I like that. I like this logo. I like what I for. So I'm wearing the jersey, Wendy. Mm-hmm. Right. And what I like about this, let I me mean, kind of get my mic to where maybe you can see it. Can you still hear me? Okay, Wendy. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll, I'll turn it up just a little bit, get a, uh, a little more so the voice. But I really like, I like the red outline. Um, I like the, 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 the down here at the bottom. This little, I mean, this is new. This was that year for this year. That was kind of new that this ad here. And then I also mm -hmm. like the, the St. Louis in it. And, and I've always liked one what I wanted to do for a logo was like this top part with this bottom part being like a face yelling, you know, coming out of it yelling. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then instead of where it said St. Louis, put Hawaii Blues fan or Hawaii Blue, oh, Hawaii Blues fan where the St. Louis is. Right. That's one th that's what I would have done for a logo if I could have found somewhere to do it or had the money. And that's enough of a change that the, the blues couldn't say something to me about it. OK, on Twitter, just let me know. But I, I need it today, though, so I can get it and make sure that you get the tickets transferred to you. Right. By the way, the hat nails your yeah, look. I wonder how those comments are... What? Uh, uh, John Hefner says the hat nails your uh, out, nails your look. I like that hat. It'll, masters, it, it, aren't it'll the look masters in March? With the, what? The Masters tournament isn't that in March? I always think that you, you, the golf tournament. I think that's in March. You kind of look like you're playing golf. <laughs> it might be in March. I think it's in mid to late March. April 11th. Okay, yeah, they moved it. COVID moved it back. It used to be in March. I know it used to be in March. Okay. I, I got you, Kevin. That I will have on Friday. I'm going to watch out for Twitter when I have a post with what I'm wearing on Friday to the game. I will. I'll keep, I'll keep that. I got to add you. I, I, I don't know why I haven't, but I haven't, like, put you on my notifications. Mm-hmm. I, I need to do that. Uh, okay, Kevin, I am sending your information to Sister JJ. I don't know if he's paying attention. Yeah, this was a hat that they gave away a couple years ago at the at a Blackhawk game during St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's a nice hat. It really is. Oh, no problem. Hey, no problem, bud. I just needed to make sure so I didn't give them to somebody else. I know this doesn't make up for what happened, but I hope it's a start. That's all I can ask. I apologize greatly for the way things went down. I hope this makes up for it a little bit. That's the way I'm looking at it. I hope you do too. And I appreciate that, bud. Uh, where are we at here in the game? Uh, shots are seven to three. Blues are already behind in shots. Uh-oh. Oh, broken stick. Oh, man. The, the, oh, they had buzzing. come out with high pace. Yeah, they are buzzing. Oh. <laughs> I might be just a tad bit behind you, but... My, my screen just buffered on my TV, so I might okay. be a tad bit behind. Yeah, I'm at 13.28. Yeah, I'm just like five seconds behind you now. Well, I hope you get something, man. I hope you get something. Uh, I sent Sister... Okay, Sister JJ, I sent you an email address on Facebook. That's the guy that gets the, t the tickets. And, 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 you know, uh, I hope it doesn't upset anybody else that, you know, some things happened. I owe this guy and, and, and this is my way of trying to make it up a little bit. And, and I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. So hopefully it helps. Uh, shots are okay. They dropped them. So six to three, but right now LA is, is really buzzing. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's their game though. So you got to try and survive the first 10 minutes of their game. Would you agree with that? Yes and no. Since the coaching change, 
they've are they've been able to hold their own a lot better during that 10 minute span of coming out of the gates with high pace and high intensity. So they've been able to play much better and a stronger form of hockey. So it's one to watch out for. Hey, big old thank you to Travis Partington. Oh, Sam, give it to her. Sam, how you doing, bud? Russ Kinlan, Jose Figueres, Aaron Neville, Laura Brandon, Aaron Coulter, Iguido, John Hefner, and two more. I think Jason Nichols was in there, and I forget who the other one was. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be wearing this hat right during now. the – yeah, it's in commercial. I will be wearing this hat during the uh, Chicago River getting dyed green. Oh, man. I, why don't they just dye it blue the rest of the year? <laughs> what? Why don't they just dye it blue the rest of the year? The last time they dyed it blue was during the Cubs World Series win. Well, I, I mean, the old joke is, you know, the, the the river's dark, right? It's it's muddy. It's it's not, you know, it, it it's not really good. Uh, it's actually a lot more clean in the. Uh, they've managed to clean that river out quite a bit in the last it, couple of years. Yeah, well, it is a dark uh, so the, river. Yes. So if you so remember, do you remember the the movie The Fugitive? Uh yes. That was a joke in the movie. Yeah, they can dry it green and green. Why can't they dry it blue the rest of the year? So, you know, it's funny. I've probably lived in Chicago more than you have. I've never lived in Chicago. Yeah, I've lived. I lived there. I have five years there. In well, the Chicago land area. I have to be careful yeah. how I say that. Yeah, you do because if you're talking about the suburbs. If you're talking to someone from Chicago, they will call you out for that. Yeah, no, I lived in the Chicago land area. Okay, the suburbs. Yeah, I, I lived in Waukegan. Yeah. All right, uh, stationed up there. I plan on moving up to Chicago. Ouch. They're talking about Bush Navage having a good run since he came over from the Rangers. I still think that they need to try Walker with that line. I I really would. I would I maybe try it in practice a little bit because I think Walker with Bull Duke and uh, neighbors would click really, really fast. Mm-hmm. Right? What Walker doesn't have in his skill, he makes up for in his speed. And the fact that he can get down there and win pucks – and when he wins pucks, there's two, instead of having maybe one guy right next to him, he's got two guys that are away from him that are far enough away that he can get the puck to him. Um, mm-hmm. that, and then they have the skill instead of being with guys that don't have the skill that can't do anything when he does have the puck. I, yeah. I, I think, oh, that was offsides. That was offsides. That was absolutely offsides. He kicked the puck in when he was already over the line. Yeah, well, doesn't matter now. I wish the oh, Blackhawks they made, they made more of these type of hats. Yeah, I, I'd like to get a Blues one like that. I really would. If they had one in red or black, I would get it in a Blackhawk hat. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Uh, you know what? That that what they have on the logo there, the 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 C with the tomahawks. Yeah, I would actually be more comfortable. I mean, with that being the blue, the Blackhawks logo, than what they have now as a logo. They aren't going to do it. Though they've tested a Blackhawk jersey with the tomahawks on the front of it. I will grab it. It doesn't fit right. Yeah, that's too big. Yeah, that doesn't. You're you're right. It has to be a shoulder patch. That logo. Yeah. It, it's not. There's not enough in it to make it. 
to make it um, a, a logo. You know what I mean? It's it's too bland yeah. to be a front logo. Oh, Walker can make plays too, and I know that, but he's still, you know, he's not a second line skilled center. However, his speed is so much so that it makes up for what he's not in my eyes. That that's what I think with Walker, and I think if you put him with two guys like two young guys. He, he, I mean, they'll click. That line will click and click very quick. Walker will have his best season ever with that line. Right? Uh-huh. I, I know Lance isn't a, a strong proponent of Walker, but I am. I, I see the little things. I like the little things that Walker does. Man, they just can't get a... The, well, I mean, at this point, we're at the 10-minute mark, and the Kings are still swarming. But this is usually when they let up. So we'll see, right? As we go to commercial. I also have a St. Patrick's Day Blackhawk fedora that I was thinking about wearing. Well, you could wear one for Saturday's game and one for Sunday's game. Uh, not. I, the, oh, you're not playing Sunday, are you? Uh, we do play on Sunday. I'm pl- I oh. might wear it on Sunday. Oh, you're you're playing Friday and Sunday, right? Yeah. David Acey says you look like an Irish mobster. <laughs> well, I am part Irish, but more yeah, same here. More part Italian. I, you know, I because look, it's it's not that you're right. I have said that, a- and he surprised me. And the blue surprised me, but if you're going to pay him that money that you're paying him to be here, use him right. Put him in a way that's going to make him and everybody else successful. Right? No, I did not think he was going to come out of the AHL. I thought he was a career AHL guy. I thought he was Gaudet. He's better than Gaudet. In, in, in the NHL level, he's not going to score like Gaudet will in the you know AHL. What we're coming up on the about two year anniversary of, right? Of what? Your rant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that, on Sunday? Uh, it should be. Actually, I think it may have been like a day before. The 16th? Yeah. Because I know it was during that time because I was wearing a um, St. Patty's Day jersey. Uh, Why are there a bunch of guys wearing ref jerseys? I don't. Oh, there, uh, there's some guys that do that. It's like a whole section up in the 300 level. Oh, <laughs> that I don't know then. That might be something special. Uh, 300 or is it just a 100 and 200 level at the, um, St. Louis arena? The, no, it's 100, 200, 300, 400. Oh, the, the 100, the, the 200 is boxes. Okay. And then you have the 300 and then the 400 of the upper level boxes. Like when, when I went to the, uh, when I went to, uh, Uh, when I went to, when I sat with the, uh, what do you call it? The alumni, in the alumni box. That's a 400 box. Oh, okay. That's the elevator. You have to take an elevator to the 400s. There's no uh, no other way. There might be stairs, but you don't get to use them unless there's an emergency. Mm. Right? Oh, I think he dove a little bit there. This is a weird jersey okay. match. Hey, here's another one. Oh my god, Scandella's the worst fucking defenseman. And I'm sorry, I'm going off. I'm pissed. I'm so sick and tired of you. Scandella's so fucking bad. He can't play where the shit. Fucking Trent Scandella for a goddamn bag of pox right the fuck now. It don't work that way, people. <laughs> for you, Wendy. 
<laughs> was not expecting you to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to find it. My my folders are not org. I'm not an organized person. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this jersey matchup. Who else is playing today? Uh, there's only three games. Really? Uh, Colorado's playing against Vancouver. Uh, Edmonton's playing somebody. Does anyone see that movie that Holly is in? Forgot the name. Uh, it, it was fake. I think it's a fake movie. I don't think it's real. I think they made some, like, trailers, but it's not a real movie. b and I, I know what you're talking about, and I can't think of the name either. How's the game looking? Uh, setting, sitting outside watching the storms roll through. God, I wish I could sit outside and watch the storms roll through, although it's been raining here. Um, I miss a good old-fashioned um, Midwestern thunderstorm. God, I miss them. Uh... Can't believe I said it as much as I hate the rain. Uh, it is nothing, nothing. L.A. is leading in shots eight to five. Uh, see if I can get some of the other things going on here. Give me a moment. Uh, hits are ten to ten, and uh, attempts are fourteen to eight. In favor of the Kings. Oh, that was a hell of a shot there from Tempe Kempe. Bennington just got a piece of that one. Wow, Bennington played that kind of nonchalantly there. I mean, he he, he saw it all the way, but I should have that off. Huh? I should have waited to choose for the uh, St. Patrick's Day game, go to the game on St. Patrick's Day instead of the one versus L.A. on Friday. Uh, is there one on Sunday? Yeah, That's they play the... against San Jose. Oh, you're not going to that one? No. You'll probably pick up tickets for it cheap. Yeah, I can. But as I'm not going to because I'm going to be there on Friday, going to be there on Saturday, don't have – one oh, again. they're not playing on Saturday, are they? No. Yeah. What's Saturday? Uh, the river getting died. Oh, okay. Where do you stay when you stay up there, if you don't mind me asking? Downtown. You, you, friend's house, hotel? Hotel, usually. Do, do you get a good deal? or? I'm, yeah. I'm thinking a hotel down there is 215 220 eh, it, was, it was not a bad deal, especially if you have rewards for the hotel company. Hmm. Sometimes we stay in the suburbs. Where where would you go if, if you stay in the suburbs? Where would you stay out? Would you stay in the? I, I would think you would probably stay in the western suburbs. Northwest suburbs. Naperville. No. Um, near there. Um, Libertyville. More so closer to Arlington Heights. Okay. John says, hey, Wendy, I know you expected not to make the play, but are you surprised eliminated so soon? No. Oh, yeah. Especially with how the season went with all the injuries. Yeah, yeah. it didn't surprise me at any bit. Uh, high sticking on the blues. Rolls. Looks like uh, we're gonna have to kill off a penalty here with 7:03 to go. Nah, you're not cut. Quit trying to make it like you are. I love it how they keep rubbing, trying to find blood. You know, like a wrestler. You know, always cuts himself. That's a movie I'd like to see him remake. I, I really would. I think they made that movie. It was a great movie, but I think they made it a, a, a year too soon. Or, or five years, ten years too soon. And I even think, didn't uh, 
Didn't the the guy win the uh, Oscar for best actor in that one? I can't think of his name now. Are you talking about Rocky? No, the wrestler. Oh, I have no clue. Marissa Torme got a nomination in it for being the girlfriend. That was her second nom. Uh, I don't think she won, but um, oh, the guy. I can't think of the guy's name now. He played. Have you seen uh, Iron Man? Have you seen all the Marvel movies? Yeah. In the second one, he played the electric guy with the whips. Oh, he did? Yeah. I can't remember his name, though. Yeah. He he, he, he was like, he played in a movie with, uh, oh, I forget who it was. Uh, 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 oh, he played in a voodoo movie. Um, oh, I can't think of it now. He, play, he played, and he also played in another, like, exotic style movie i can't think of the name of it now well so far blues are killing the penalty off 53 seconds to go see hayes hayes lit off that too soon Hey, just kind of pushed at him and then pulled away. He's, I think he's got to stay with that a little bit longer. Cleared it. That was the same year the movie Grand Torino came out. Those were two really good movies. Someone wearing a Bobby Hall jersey in the stands. No, that's normal. There's always it. I you know it, it doesn't, and I I did this myself. It, but it doesn't matter where you go. Somebody will wear a um, I'm not sure. Ah, oh no, Benningman. Uh, please get through to this blues. Um, okay, <laughs> I see what he's saying. I had a trouble like, figuring out what you're saying there. Higher. Um, uh, no, I, I lost it. Oh, you will always see someone in a Chicago Blackhawks jersey. Yeah. Every single game I've gone to, and you'll see somebody. Now, most of the games I go to are Blues jerseys, Blues games. But even I went to a game in Pittsburgh, and there was another guy in a Blues jersey. Hmm. Right. If I'm not going, if I'm going to a game where it's not the Blackhawks playing, I'm probably wearing an international jersey. I can see that. I don't have any. Right. Like I would wear a Czech Republic jersey, a Slovakia jersey, something different. When when I went to the game in Vegas, a guy had on a um, Tarasenko's Russian jersey, mm. signed a signed Tarasenko Russian jersey. Interesting. Yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I I do too. I do too. Higher, and, and I got to be honest with you. Higher density. I'm really not a fan of people not using their names. I know on you might have a channel, and that's fine. But I'd like to know who you are. So if you can either send me something on Twitter or on Facebook, um, I have been I have been trolled very heavily on on YouTube. So that's why. Oh, they're showing them now. <laughs> something going on with the ref games. By the way, I'm wearing mine tonight. Like like I said, I like symbology, and this jersey is full of symbology. I just think it's ugly. When I'm no talking. disrespect, Wendy, you're going to think every jersey that 
the blue. No, I just think that particular design is an ugly design. Oh, Benner looks solid every night. I, I. Oh, that was say, outside. I'd say that. Oh, they didn't call it, but it was. Probably their work. I just think that's an ugly design of a jersey. I'm not a fan of those 90s looks from the NHL. When is Detroit going to do something with their jersey? What are you talking about? I, I mean, they they basically wearing the exact same jersey they wore when they began a team in the 20s. Uh, they've been wearing that particular style of uniform since 19... 19- 40. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's basically almost the same jersey that they came into the league with, you know? Original six teams don't change uniforms, really. The Bruins have. The Bruins have a, a, a lot. It's the Rangers? Yes, the Bruins are one of the only teams in the original six who changed their uniform a lot. The So do the Rangers. The Rangers have changed theirs up a couple of different times. No, not really. They've always kept it traditional with their word mark down the front. They used to have New York down the front of their road jersey. They also but have the shield. They also have the shield they wear. They wore the shield for one season. I thought I thought they still wear it like as an alternate. No. Well, this year they brought it back as an alternate, but I'm not counting that as part of like their traditional look. John asked, were you alive in the 90s, Wendy? I was born in 98. <laughs> so you weren't, no? <laughs> uh, I'm just not a fan of the 90s looks of jerseys. There's a couple jerseys from the 90s that I do like, like Tampa Bay. I like um, Ottawa. But they kept their jerseys at that time kind of somewhat of a traditional look and striping and everything. The Saint Sunquist Louis. extension I didn't like. The the Kessel extension I do. Aaron, I agree, bud. I agree. That's why I'm wearing it in 85 degree heat. St. Louis had how many? Had like three different designs throughout the 90s uh, years. Oh, nice, nice uh, back check there. Oh, yeah! Torpachinko! There you go. That's what the Blues needed. Good, quick goal. Uh, That was uh, a a great move. I think it was by Letty, keeping the puck in. Yeah. Right? That that was the move there. And And Torpachinko was active. Was that, yeah, Letty, right? Four, Letty. It was Letty who kept it in, and one of the Blues players went up to the front of the net to screen. Uh, Walker. Walker, who made the initial mistake, he may have touched that. Right yeah, now, he did. Rico's getting it, but um, they're, only giving, they're only giving an assist to Letty, but I think Walker's going to get an assist on that. Walker got it. Did he? Yeah, TNT just showed a angle of it, and it's under. Um, and it went off the toe of Walker. Yeah, I, I think it did too. Well, off the heel of his uh, stick, I shouldn't say. Yeah, but Walker makes the initial, you know, a stick. He he, he fans on the initial shot, and then um, it gets pushed forward by LA. Letty keeps it in, takes the puck towards the half wall. Gets it to Torpachinko, who does a 360 and just fires it towards the net. And Walker, who who made the initial uh, fan, is in front of the net to possibly tip it in. Right now they have Walker as an assist, but I think that's going to change. Big save by Bennington there. It might have not gone off of Walker's 
stick actually. They just showed a dumper angle of it. Yeah. Speaking of hockey sticks, I'm waiting on my new ones I ordered. I just ordered two custom sticks. Come on, Thomas, keep getting those uh, face-off wins. I need a bunch of them from you. Probably not like this bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> Bedard and Makita. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that at? Uh, it's a limited edition bobblehead out of 144 of them being made. Oh, there you go. Um, I got it off of the website Foco. They yeah. make a bunch of unique bobbleheads. Yeah, that probably cost you a pretty penny. No, not that bad. Uh, I can't remember exactly why I paid for it since I bought it back in uh, October. It was the fact that they finally mailed them out this week. Oh, I I, I would say I'd say two to two fifty. No, I it was nowhere near that. Okay. I already saw someone list one for that on eBay. Yeah, uh, because that's what I could see it going for now. Not sure. I didn't see that higher. What stick you're talking about? I know O'Reilly has an interesting stick. He has he has, his curve is the toe of his stick is like ninety degrees. I'm surprised that's not illegal. I've always wondered about that. Yeah, someone's selling that particular bobblehead on eBay right now. Yeah. For a hundred and seventy-five dollars. Is that is that what they're asking or is that what the bid is? That is what uh the list price is right now. Okay, so they don't have it as an auction, they have it as, as a buy it now. Yeah. And I guarantee it someone will buy it. Yeah, I, I could see it getting sold. Torpachenko gets his 13th of the season! As the Blues are outshot slightly. As I say that, I hope I'm right. Slightly 14-9, um, to 9, so not as slightly as I thought. Um... Torpachenko gets a goal at the 1730 mark from Letty and Walker. The only penalty was on Shen for a high stick that the Blues killed off. Uh, Got to figure out who, I, what type of jersey I'm putting this patch on. Uh, let's see what other numbers we got. L.A. ended up having 23 attempts. The Blues had 16 attempts. Hits were 15 to 14, slightly favoring the Blues. Um, Kings gave it away twice. Blues gave it away six times. Been a problem all year. Blues took it away twice. Kings took it away three times. Kings blocked three shots. Blues blocked six. Uh, Face-offs were 12 to 9 in favor of the Blues. Woo-hoo. When they win the face-off, they normally win the game. Normally. Uh, not always, but when they lose the face-offs, they don't win the game. And that's 57 to 43%. Um, are you still out there, David AC? Bad peer. Okay. I, 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 I have the anti-Blues fan on the show right now. Do you think that was a bad period by the Blues? They played well. Yeah. I, I mean, come on, Darkness. Stop putting on your, your Blackhawks colored glasses while you're watching the game, bud. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to fight that one. AC, yeah, this is for you, huh? 
I'll tell you this. That company who made that like bobblehead, they also made a Bedard Michigan bobblehead. So it should have freaking Bennington in the net of that uh, Michigan bobblehead. God. I would buy that just to blow it up. Um, the Kings are even 66 4, 66 against in the second. The Blues are minus one. This could be an interesting period. These are teams that hold their own in the second. Uh, Kings take a lot of shots in the second, uh, 736. We're giving up 650. The Blues take 650. We're giving up 752. That's been like the biggest thing with the Blues this season, right? Uh, that's the one thing that they fixed, right? The one thing that they fixed, it would definitely, definitely change that. They'd be challenging for the second spot if they'd have fixed the power play early. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Huh? Yeah. I, I could give them five to seven more wins if they fix that power play. Uh, Jamie Ben Bobble hit it rolling. <laughs> Uh, Kings are tough. They play fast while well, the Blues play slow. I don't think the Blues play slow. I think the Blues play a different style of game. Um, so we need Bennington to be our leader. Not completely on board there. Our leader has got to be Thomas. Right? Thomas is our leader. Bennington's job is to stop pucks. As long as Bennington does that, he's not a leader on the team. I will disagree with you on that one there. Right? And he does. He does. He He's... If he had a little bit better defense in front of him, he would be in the Vesna running this season. Right? His numbers would be a lot better. I think even even Wendy would have to agree with me on that. We haven't even been on the power play this game, bud. Uh, yeah, you know, it was useless. They're at 17% now. 17% is not that bad. I, I think the I think you want to be in the tw between twenty and twenty four percent. Yeah, you want to be, be on your 20. power play. Say again. Yeah, you want to be in the twenty percent range. Range, and, and they're at seventeen. So again, that that right there is what you know at the beginning of the season prior to Bannister. If that's something that would have gotten fixed, this team is probably you know challenging for challenging for a divisional. Spot, not just a playoff spot, in my eyes. In my eyes. Right? I don't think the Blues play slow. I think they play different. They play a little bit more finesse game. They're, they don't use their speed as much because, again, they, they don't have a coach that lets them lose their speed. And, and I thought Bannister would, but it feels like he's honed that in some, at least in my mind. Uh, Stanley Marlowe, David A. Harrison Krieger, Travis Partington, thank you. All right. Um, there's been some guys, the second and third line, or the third and second and third lines have been kind of quiet. Kind of quiet so far. I mean, the line that got you the goal was the fourth line. Walker Torpachinko. But I give that, that goal is all on Letty. Because that could have could have gone the other way really, really fast in a breakaway. And I'm talking a 160-foot breakaway, right? Um, Letty keeping that puck in prevented that. And then Walker, after making the mistake, going to the net helped that. But that got, that goal was on Letty in my eyes. Wendy? Uh, I would say it was more Letty. Yeah, I would say it was Letty keeping that play input keeping the puck in play for uh, St. Louis to get lead to a goal. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, so I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> like everybody thinks. Oh, fun game so far. Mm -hmm. I'm sweating a little bit under the hat and the Jersey. So I, I, I wonder why, I, I got to ask you this. Maybe you know the question and answer to this, maybe not. Why, 
Why did Chicago never put a, a casino on the uh, on the Great Lakes on Lake Michigan? Were they not allowed to? I don't know. Because I don't think there are any casinos in Chicago, are there? There's a casino in Chicago. Oh, okay. Is it, on, is, it on the, casino. is it on the Chicago River or is it? I think it's just mid, it, it's somewhere mid, midtown in uh, Chicago. It's got to be on a river. They, there's, it has to be on a river. It has to be no, it the, doesn't. Uh, oh, do you have straight gambling now? Yeah, Illinois uh, legal gamble. Okay. State. I thought it had to be on a river. Nope. Or, or within Illinois. a certain, certain distance of a river. Nope. Okay. Guess I'm wrong there. Illinois is a legalized state for gambling. Don't think Missouri is. I think Missouri is still just river. Yeah. You have to be within a. I know they've changed it to where it used to be had to be on the river. Now you have to be within a certain distance of the river. I like the riverboat gambling. I think it's cool. Has to be a bullet resistant boat. <laughs> like St. Louis. Ah. I think a lot of St. Louis's crime comes from East Illinois. I really do. In fact, I, I, I know for a fact the majority of it does. That was a good, I mean, that was a great shot by Torpachinko, but Letty, Letty sets that all up. All right. Uh, Hire, do I know you? Do I know you from somewhere? Um, I just want to make sure I'm not getting trolled. I mean, your your comments are great so far. I will give you that. Oh no, there's there there's a lot of crime on the Missouri side. It's just that a lot of that crime is being committed by people from the east side. Though though it's kind of neat um for me and I, I don't know why, but for some reason I look like a cop. I guess I dress like a cop. Okay. No problem, just making sure. All right, welcome to the show. You're welcome all the time. Please uh follow the channel. We do this every game. Um, I give you an opportunity to talk during the game. Yell at the TV with me. Uh, I stayed in Soulard, and I guess you know the you, you might know the Soulard area a little bit there, Wendy. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I stay in Soulard, but I guess I guess I look like a cop because yeah, I know where Soulard is. Um, the, where, where I stayed, I was driving, a uh, I was driving a charger last time I was home and, and I got a, like a high end charger, you know, like a, the, the, the GT level charger. I don't know what theirs mm -hmm. is, but the Hemi, um, and I pulled in and, and there were being drugs sold near where I was staying. And I pulled in and there were two guys that were taking hits using a, a Reese's cup and they saw me and they freaked. <laughs> nice car. I got out of it, you know, kind of stood up, kind of looked at them, and then they bolted, bolted out of there. It was so neat. So neat. I mean, I walk around Soulard by myself, and I don't worry. I, I, I've seen someone come at me and then turn and walk on the other side of the street, so. And that was someone I would have been scared of. So, it, 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 I guess... Looking like a cop saves me. <laughs> that's that military in me. Uh, that's that's being a, a, a sailor for 20 years. Head on a swivel. Ah. So how mad are you at Connor Bedard now putting up eight points in the last two games? On a level of one to ten? Yeah. 275? <laughs> made you laugh 
<laughs> luckily, 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 yeah, I am that ugly. <laughs> that adds to it. Uh, the guy that has Bedard is not in the playoff round anymore. Right, he, he Bedard went off just a, a little bit too late for him. <laughs> I, I don't understand how the, he was able to trade this season. He was able to trade for Bedard and Matthews. His team's going to be going to be pretty special next season. He needs to make one or two more small trades, one or two more trades, and he's going to have a hell of a team. Roman Yossi's hurting me. Come on. Come on, need a rider. Uh, O'Reilly and Thomas, I need something from all of you. It's been a lot of fun watching Connor Bedard you know, being back in the lineup <laughs> since his injury. I know the I team made still sucks. Comment, Colin. Well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get uh you're gonna get um, kicked out. Hey, Vidar, how you doing, bud? Yoshi just got a second assist. Yeah, I got him for two assists. Which kind of well, actually, I'm not. He just built the, the, the elite he had. The guy coming in today, he had six, I had five. So he's just built the lead. It hasn't hurt me. I still have points. I have him in, in goals. I have him goals six to two. And I had him in points eleven to eight. Now it's eleven to ten. So oh. I need O'Reilly, Thomas, or Niederreiter to get some points. God, your fantasy team is such a Homer team. No, it's not. I have one guy. Two guys. I have two guys on my team from the Blues. O'Reilly used to be on the Blues. Used to be, yes. And I have Tarasenko who used to be. And were they on the Blues when you got them? Yes. Well, hold on. Let me, well, part of, uh, I got it with O'Reilly already on the team and Thomas already on the team. I traded for Bennington. I traded for Tarasenko. But, like, the guy I'm playing, he's got four guys on his team from Edmonton, and he's got the best team in the league. Right? I mean, you can be a homer with Edmonton. My team, here, I'll, 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 here you go. Hold on. This is my roster. Uh, Peter Ryder, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Ryan O'Reilly, TJ Oshie, uh, Robert Thomas, Ben Sherratt, Ryan Greaves, Alex Petrangelo, Robbie Fabry, Marcus Fugolino, uh, Marcus Johnson, Johansson, uh, Jonathan Marchessault, Vladimir Tarasenko, Jimmy Vesser, Ryan Suter. I have Logan Kulcher and Tyler Hall on the IR. For goalies, I have Bennington and Wedgwood. Seven right. players that played for St. Louis on your team. When when they did, I they when I got them, they didn't. Right? I got Petrangelo, he did not. And I don't I don't have that many, do I? Yeah. How many do I have? I have uh Ryan O'Reilly, TJ Oshi, but TJ Oshi I just picked up this season. I'm I'm just saying because of the fact that he played for St. Louis too. I'm putting like Robert four Thomas. blues on that list. It's up to seven. Robert Thomas, Petrangelo, Fabry, Harrison yeah, Gat is seven. <laughs> it is seven. I had I had two Blackhawks on my team. You have one. I had two. I had Perry. I let Perry go this year. I, I let him go at the beginning of the season. I, I had to make a choice. <laughs> uh, hey, Nichols, how you doing, bud? Right, second period. Um, I, I you know, with the fact that uh, in the second period that they're even and the Blues are minus one, this period could be a goal period. 
You, you know what I mean? They, they could be changing goals in this period. I hope not. The, the Kings play well in the second period from the games I watched them this yeah. season. Well, I mean, the Blues play, it depends, you know, what side of the bed they got up on. Uh-huh. Right? That, that has a lot to do with it. And I appreciate everybody watching today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh Yeah, they're 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 giving Bennington some dues on the uh, uh Kings Kings broadcast about him seeing the puck well and being well balanced. Sister JJ, did you get that uh, Facebook message with the email? I hope so. Did you hear them saying that Baruby said when we went on a tear in 2009, it was after a practice fight? I, see, that, I, I'm so, that happened so, that happened a month before they went on a tear, a month. That practice fight had nothing to do with it. Was Barube on that team? Was yeah. Barube the coach yet? Yeah, he 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 had, he had he had been the coach for about a week. There was a lot of frustration at that point, but that fight had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Puck drop. And the arena it was quiet. And they're leading. I wish Eddie Olchek was still with the Blackhawks. How do you like in Panger? Uh, I still am not a fan. Yeah. I don't like it. Here's my thing. I grew up with Pat Foley and Eddie Olchek. The best duo in the sport at their time together. And now I have to deal with Chris Vosters, probably the worst play-by-play guy in the league, and Darren Pink. And the best color guy in the league. No. So the worst and the best. No, he is one of the best color Eddie guys Eddie Olchek's the, the best in the game. Uh... Both look at the left score. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there was a option on T on like ESPN Plus that you could choose what broadcasters you want to listen to. Like you yeah. could have it on your actual team broadcast. Yeah, but if you want, you could have it where it's simulcast with the um, radio broadcasters together. Oh, now that I didn't know. That I would like. I would love that to happen. Because yeah. if that happened, I would be listening to Troy Murray and John Wideman on the call. Yeah. Murray's honestly the one of the best color analysts in the game. I love his house, what he talks about during the game. Oh. The color. Two nothing! Looks like neighbors! Damn it. That means they're going to get another assist because Bush David is on the other guy's team. Oh, I seen it go in. Let's see who they give it to. Bull Duke. I don't know if uh, Bush David got in on that. Woo! And it gets stale with uh, Darren Ping in Chicago. Say again? It gets stale listening to Darren Ping as a color analyst in Chicago. Two nothing blues. Eddie Olchek, what I liked about Edzo, he coached while doing it, being the color analyst. He would put by... Him being a former coach also, he basically brought that knowledge of the game by his way of teaching 
to like young hockey players in watching the game as well. Ping does not do that. Do you think it's better when the goalies are fighting for position, like Elliot and Allen, rather than having a goalie knowing he is num is the number one? Um, I think it's better now because it, it works so well for Boston because you have um both um you can go into the playoffs not having to worry about a situation if your goalie goes down down yeah i i mean i i see it both ways i see it both ways um eddie olchek was one of the worst coaches in pittsburgh penguins history i know he was bad in pittsburgh as a coach but he also had a terrible team at that time he just had Sidney crosby who was a rookie but he still brings a knowledge of the game as a coach to being a color analyst that some color analysts don't have with that knowledge of being a former coach. He wasn't a coach for very long, but he does have that knowledge of being a coach as well, even though his career is much more known for being a hockey player. And yeah. he was fairly successful at that too. Yeah. So for me, it, it it really depends on who your goalie are. Like for Allen, Allen did better when he was challenged. Jake Allen did better when he was challenged. It, it was plain and simple. When he was the number one, he he didn't do well. Bennington seems to do well when he's the number one than when he's challenged. However, him and Hoffer have made a awesome tandem. Awesome tandem that. Really is close. I mean, a little bit better defensive play, not defense. Defensive play, big difference. And they're they're one of the top uh, top um, tandems in the league. Next year, I think they could be one of the best tandems in the league. Right, and, and I think that that Wendy might 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 have to agree with me on that. I don't know because we're going to see a lot of goalie movement this off season. Not for the Blues. Uh, when you're cordially invited to root for the Blues the rest of the season, oh, he's always cordially invited. He's just never going to do it. <laughs> I will never root for St. Louis in my life. I, I'm, I'm guessing, and I don't know this, and you can say it either way. Uh, I'm guessing that you rooted for the Rams in '99. It was only one. I wasn't even. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Play that. Yeah. I was one. <laughs> I wouldn't know what the hell that is. <laughs> yeah. Because my penguins, I want them to tank. You want the penguins to tank? Okay. Fair enough. It's going to Yeah, be we are them. old. I know that. I know that, David. It's going to be hard for Pittsburgh to get into a higher draft position than they are because you have Chicago, you have uh San Jose, Anaheim, and Columbus all battling for that same spot to be dead last in the NHL. Yeah. I still i I'd like to see him. I'd like to see more teams getting picked for the lottery. I'd like to see. I'd like to see it be five spots, or I've even said this before. I'd like it to be a full on lottery, right? Full on lottery. You know, keep picking, pick from until you get all sixteen spots. Here's a question for you. Does yeah. Sidney Crosby request a trade this offseason? Absolutely. Absolutely. If if he loves that team as much as he says he does, do something to help that team. Because him playing on it doesn't help it. I mean, it's what Kane did. It's, it's what, well, Taze is injured. But... Uh, 
Pardon my lack of knowledge on the lottery. Can you give a brief 3,000-foot view? So the bottom 16 teams, 16 teams in the league go into a weighted lottery. The lower you scored, the, the higher your weight in getting picked. They pick two spots. Uh, the most you can move up is 10 spots. So actually, there was a scenario, there were a couple scenarios, where the Blues, who had the 10th spot, could have picked as low as 12. Right? Yeah. Right now, for the Blackhawks situation, at the lowest they can draft is fourth overall. All right. Third overall. Fourth. All right. Are they the second team right now? Yeah. Second worst? Okay. You can we, drop two well, spots. What? The most you can drop is two spots. Yeah. Right? The most you we can go up. We put up uh, 14 goals in just two games, so yeah. <laughs> we kind of moved up in the standings for one. Yeah, the most you can drop, though, is 10 spots. Power play! Power play. Holding on Alex Turcotte. Good for me. I think the other guys got Turcot. <sighs> Turcot had so much promise. No, nope, he doesn't. Alex Turcot has so much promise. Had so much promise in his draft year. He was one of those prospects. I was hoping the Blackhawks would have drafted over Kirby Doc. Yeah. Uh, he's just been dealing with the same situation. A bunch of injuries. Um. I think he can use a change of scenery, and I think in the offseason we could see Turcock getting traded. Well, see, I, I Fadar, I, I understand what you, where you're coming at, right? But to, to, to think of this realistically, right? If you now, if, if Kane did not care, did, did not care about the Hawks at all, they would have stayed with him until his contract ended, right? By, by allowing himself to be traded, he helps the team out. He gives them picks. He helps them move up. Um, Turcotte turning into a decent middle six forward. Um, on board with that. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I guess there, it's like supporting refs, not being mean to refs or something like that. I, I, heard, I I've seen something on the, oh, what a save by Bennington. Oh, and it's going the other way quick. If you're playing hockey, it's sometimes fun to chirp the ref every now and then. <laughs> it is. I think it's fun to chirp the officials in any game. Well, my teammates is known for chirping the stripes all the time. Blues have 20 seconds left to go in the power play. Oh, actually, I didn't realize that, that save was a shorthanded attempt. <laughs> oh, man. Bennington made himself really big. Bennington, Bennington, Bennington's style of play, he should be uh, a Vesna candidate. Did I say it right? Vesna? Yeah, Vesna. But his numbers won't put him there. But But his style of play, he should be there. It's a numbers trophy, so it will be yeah. hard for him to ever get it. But but you understand what I'm saying there, right? Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Right, He is, in my eyes, he should be a Vesna candidate this year. But he won't be. <laughs> the age of Bennington. Yep. I remember that song. I like that song. The dawning of the age of Bennington. Age of Bennington. Ah, uh, not completely. See, I don't think that... It's not our defense as much as it is our defensive play. There's a difference there. Uh, our style of play being defensive is what cost Bennington, especially early in the season. If we would have come out early in the season and played offensively, 
Bennington's numbers would have been so much better um, overall, and, and our record would have been a lot better. But we came in with that defensive mindset that just doesn't work in today's NHL. I, I, I'm I almost dead set on that. Would you agree with me or disagree with me on that, Wendy? You need some defense, but you can't go full defensive mindset anymore. That's what the Blues have done, and it, it's taken over. They're still – I still see it. I still see that defensive mindset in these players. They haven't. That's why they need a new voice in the locker room. That's why they absolutely need a pr- brand new voice in the locker room. Right? Um, I almost think you need to go to a college coach. And I know that's not going to go over very well. But you need that type of voice in the locker room with these guys. I, I really do think that these guys need that type of voice. And, and a college-type voice might really... College is more of an offensive game. Am I right, Wendy? Would you would you say that? No. I want... It's more defensive-minded. Uh, I don't have a favorite college team, but I do follow Lindenwood, and I think Lindenwood fucked up by firing Zombo. I really do. I think that that was a complete move. Nate Lehman is your guy. I, I don't know who he is. Respect the refs. Respect the whistle. That's what they're doing. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool tonight. Uh, well, you know what? That Montgomery, Montgomery, that season with Montgomery was one of our best seasons. I did an interview with Zombo. I actually consider him a friend, though he might be mad at me. Um, I'll have to, I, I'm waiting to reach out back to him for a little bit. <laughs> uh, but, but Zombo's been a friend for a while, for a little bit, for a couple of years now. Um, hey, Tammy, how you doing? Let's go blues. Those chrome helmets are so bad. I had to drop sod because of somebody coming off the IR and I was hoping I could pick him up tomorrow and somebody else picked him up. I was like, damn it. Tay said, we got guys that don't care if they're in St. Louis or Columbus and that league-wide, they're not invested in the city anymore. And that could be part of it. That could be part of it. That 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 could be something to do with it. That is, you know, St. Louis, St. Louis, outside of Canada, probably has the most former players staying there. Right? Chicago has a ton of them that still live mm-hmm. up there. And also, um, St. Louis probably has the best, if not the second best, alumni association. And I've heard that throughout the league. Like, the only one that might be a little better is Toronto. Big save by Bennington. Keep this up tonight, buddy. Shots are 21 to 18. But for the period, they are 9 to 7 in favor of the Lou. The Penguins were dumb for re signing Malkin and Latang. They should have let them both walk free agency two years ago. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you're a Peng- uh, Penguin fan, but they were that was the wrong decision. They should have started their rebuild then. And now they're going into a position where the Blackhawks were at for several years. I'll I'll agree. Uh, He also would like to see army stick around to teach. Uh, Steen and Steen take the GM. Army's biggest issue is that he 
can't read the dressing room. And that's, that might be right. I, 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 wow. Yeah. I, I might be there for that. I might, I might be dead on that one. That's one of the things I haven't heard the interview, but that right there, Chris, I would be, I could see that. I could really see that. Hey guy, I gotta go. Okay, bud. Sorry. Have a good one, man. Yep. For Wendy as he leaves. You're very much longer. All right. Hey, here's another one. Oh my God, Scandella's the worst fucking defenseman. And I'm sorry, I'm going off. I'm, I'm so sick and tired of you. Scandella's so fucking bad. He can't play where the shit. Fucking Trent. I miss Golf King. I don't know where he's at. Why he left us, but I miss him. It don't work that way, people. <laughs> I miss Golf King. Good, good shots there. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, big rebound right in front of the net. That was uh, scary. Come on, guys. Oh, puck's out of the zone. Oh, nice turnover by the Blues. For the Blues. Ah, uh, nobody there. Oh, that's great that he's at the game. Oh, Bull Duke just missed. Bull Duke just missed. Uh, yeah, he has, but you know what? A lot of that, I think, I, I talked about this earlier, Vader, before you came on. A lot of that got blown out of proportion and, and, and got misconstrued. I mean, you look at what happened in the last game when the Blues played Boston with what uh, Swayman did against Walker. You know, Bennington gets a two-game suspension for the exact same thing. And and nothing happens to Swayman. That there, There's a, a, a very negative perception that shouldn't be there. Well, I'm glad he's fighting the disease. I'm gl really glad he is, and and hopefully he c makes a, a a a solid recovery. All right. Got to speak to. I'll, I'll wait. Maybe this summer I'll speak to my buddy Twist and see if I can get a a meeting with uh, Chaser. I know Chaser moved to. Uh, he, he moved to Nashville for a while and then he was doing something with the business and now I think he's come back. But, you know, part of that reason that some of these guys might not care about the city anymore is as, as you look at, you know, when, when uh, Bobby passed, Nobody filled that hole, right? Kelly Chase should have filled that hole, and he didn't for, for personal, whatever, he didn't. Oh, solid save Bennington there. They had a setup, and, and it, he just took it away. He is seeing the puck so well. God, come on, somebody get this puck. Somebody get... Come on, somebody get this puck. There you go. Put your So so that is something that's missing. You know, Hall moved away. Uh 
Ch Chase moved away. I know that some of these guys, they don't like today's game. They think it's more about the name on the back than the name on the front. And that's not how they, they lived up. Um, no, I, I, I am not on uh, Erickson. I have to watch the Kings broadcast. Uh, the TNT broadcast is blacked out for me. Ain't the most talented at all. You know how wrong that is. Um, actually, the top of the alumni situation uh, association is um. Oh, I think I can't think of his name. Bruce, uh, Bruce Affleck. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Sister JJ. Um. Yeah, he doesn't have it anymore. I know he does something else. He, he has a uh, windshield business or something along those lines. He's a good guy. I've had him on the show. I've talked to him. I, 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 I've, I've had conversations with him. He's a really great guy. If I call, he answers the phone. Let's put it that way. No, Chase, the overall, overall NHL. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, no problem, man. Neighbors in Bolduc, and, and where's Bush Neighbors? Late on the play. That's why I don't think he should be. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I misread that. Thank you, Chris. Another big save by Bennington. That could be, that could be, that could have been something that really affected him, and that's possible, right? But if he's back living here now, which I think he is, he, he really needs to be more vocal in that locker room. He needs to be more connected to the guys on the team, right? Bring that back, and I think Hull needs to come back. I'll tell you that straight up, Hull needs to come back. Right, and other guys from that time period. Gretzky, even though Gretzky was only here for a short period of time, the fact that he still has a house here, he needs to be more active in the Blues alumni. Well, yeah, he needs to get better first. I agree with that, but when he gets better, that's what I meant. That's what I meant, Shakamundo, when he gets better. 17 likes today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cammy, Frank, you, Chris Shockey, Michael Edwards, thank you. Out of town scoreboard. I don't know what's going on out of town scoreboard. I'll take a quick real quick. 
Predators are up two to nothing on the Jets with uh, seven forty three to go. A little bit later tonight, the Caps and uh, Oilers go at it. That's also a TNT game, I think. Yeah, and then uh, the Avalanche are in Vancouver. Oh, that was a interesting little flip back there. That's cool. Oh, Shen almost. Shen just missed. High and wide. High and wide. Oh, everybody just kind of looking around, not paying attention, being where you need to be. There we go. Go, Thomas. Oh, Cairo. Oh, that was a bad change there. Bad change. That wasn't a... a if you're going to take that pass, he's got to be open, not covered. Not uh, t Wednesday. I don't know. Usually Tuesday, he's out of it. Uh, I don't know if he's if he thinks about it. Maybe the game started a little bit earlier. So, but if he thinks about it, it'll pop on. I haven't seen him. But I would like I would like to see more more of the the Blues players really get interested in the city. And, and you know what? I've talked about that. I've talked about how the the things that I've talked about with what with, with some of the some of their teammates have done recently that could affect that. And I think I think and I, I brought it up. I brought up Petrangelo. I brought up Perron. I brought up uh, Schwartz. Things like that. I think that that. Puts a bad taste in some of these guys' mouths. Tarasenko in some ways, right? Especially not with the way it was reported, not what happened, but, you know, the way it got reported. Uh, itchy nose. Itchy nose. Uh, that wasn't a... That wasn't the greatest of passes there. Another big save there on Bennington. Oh, he knocked that puck away. Ah, oh, Krug, you got to get that put. You got to put in some mustard on those pucks. I, I mean, the passes are so weak. Gotta have some mustard on them, especially in that in that position. Oh, uh, now neighbor Stewart around the back of the. Well, uh, yeah, that's uh, they just said every time the Kings are getting a pluck, there's a, a St. Louis player right on him. That is true. Oh, that was a cross check. He got cross checked.
Yeah, that was uh, not a good shot there by Thomas. There we go. Now Thomas has got it. Oh, Kyrie lost it too. Good period, man. Let's hope they can finish it strong. Good period. Let's finish it strong. Shots are 14 apiece for the period, 28 to 23 overall in favor of the Kings. Nobody there. Come on, Falk. Gotta get open. Gotta get open. Shit, nice back check. There we go. End of the period. Shots are 14 apiece, 28 to 23 in favor of the Kings for the game. Um, there was one score, Jake Neighbors, with a little help from his friends, Justin Falk and Zach Bolduc. Bolduc getting his first NHL assist, his second point. Uh, one penalty in that period, uh, Alex Trucott got a holding call at the 546 mark. Blues got a couple of shots on goal, but nothing more. Um, solid, solid game so far from both teams. The Kings are coming in with 48 attempts. The Blues, 39. Uh, Blues have 18 hits. Kings have 24. Kings, four giveaways. The Blues have given it away seven times. But at the same time, both teams have taken it away seven times. Kings have blocked seven shots. The Blues have blocked 13 shots. Face-offs, 21-18 in favor of the Blues, 54% to 46%. And that is your stats for the period. In the third, the Kings are plus 16. No, 14, plus 14, pardon me. The Blues are minus 8. Ouch. Got to do it. The Blues are actually now even in the second period. They are uh, scored 65 while giving up 65. And the Kings now are minus one. So they flip-flopped that. Okay, Shakamundo. See you later. Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was a cross-check. Hey, batter's back. Good game so far. Let's see what happened. Let's keep it going. Uh, got a little time before the period. I'm going to grab me some ice and and uh, another drink, another soda to keep me dehydrated. I will be back shortly. Enjoy the music.
Well, how was that? You enjoy your music? Uh, I need to take a quick break. I'm back. Um, the Jets are still up. Are the Preds are up two to nothing on the Jets? Yeah, I, I could use the. I, I could use some help from Nico Niederreiter. Could use him getting something done on that. And but I could also use Ryan O'Reilly getting something done. Um. Thank you, Vader. I uh, just gave you guys something to listen to while I was out. Um, I got to watch the Kings. Uh, the Kings um, feed. Uh, so best I got. Uh, can't I don't I, I don't get to see what the TNT guys are saying. So apologize about that, Wayne. I'm ignoring your comment. Um, hope you guys are still watching and enjoying the show. Uh, I can probably do that, jump on somebody else, do two podcasts at once. <laughs> oh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, you guys would see me hear me talking to somebody else but not see them. Um, yeah, that was a pretty goal. Yeah, it was Bulldog Falk and Neighbors. Okay. I see it now. Um, oh, wow. Why? Why? No, the, the TNT guys don't like the Blues very much at all. Except when Gretzky's there. When Gretzky's there, they back off. But when he's not there, they kill him. They kill Bennington and some of the others. I'm doing okay, bud. I'm doing okay. I need some points, baby. I need my guys to get me some points. I need I need Thomas to get him on the board. Get on the board. Come on, Thomas. Get on the board for me. I ended up winning the first week of my playoffs, and it came as a big shock to me. I ended up, uh, Marsha Shaw got that on Saturday, last Saturday, got that hat trick. And that that did it. That changed everything for me. Uh, my other guy had a had a guy get five assists. The guy I was playing had five assists. I mean, I I was really concerned. We had a matchup go right down. They ended up tied, eight eight and nine, and, and or nine nine and eight, whatever it was. And the tiebreaker is highest seed, right? I I think that the tiebreaker should go goals, assists, points. And then higher seed, right? If they're tight, whoever's leading in goals, that's that should be the tiebreaker to me, right? Uh, assist. If goals are tied, then assists. If assists are tied, then points. But if goals and assists are tied, then points would be tied. So that doesn't make sense, anyways. Um, goals, assist, and then uh, another major category, like maybe wins. Goals, assist, wins. There you go. Goals assist wins. And then, uh, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, Bedard is back on top in the Cadillac race. Yeah, Calder race. I could see that. 
Oh, you, you snuck that in on me. I was trying to hide. I didn't care about it. Right? Uh, come on, guys. Help me out. You're leaving me hanging, 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 hanging all alone. Only a couple people watching anyways. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Do a quick refresh here to catch up, make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, McDavid's gonna get he's gonna kill me in face offs. O'Reilly's using my face off guy and he's not helping me out. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Paul Bissonette doesn't know how anything works. He doesn't even know how his own mouth works. Second season, how does he do with the sophomore slump? No, there was a penalty called. It was on you guys. Wow. Hey, suck. Come on, Vancouver. You need to beat the crap out of Colorado tonight. Vancouver, Vancouver, Vancouver. I don't think it's funny at all. I, I don't think he's, I, I, in fact, most of what he does isn't funny to me. Um, Blues played well in the second, and they can come out and do the same. They're gonna they're gonna come away victorious. They got to come out, uh, start shooting, shooting, shooting. Uh, Vancouver, yes, they they've been the one of the bigger better surprises of the league. Well, oh, sorry, sister. Thanks for thanks for set, hooking us up, and I really appreciate the the tickets that you let me give away. Um, I, I hope you understand the way reason I did it the way I did it, and you're okay with that. Oh, that's an absolute must. They, I mean, they got to win just about every game in front of them, right? They, they've got to be in every game. They've got to basically they got to take every game to overtime, bare minimum.
Uh, uh, excuse me. I agree, sister. Just waiting on the, the game to come up. Let's go blues. Who are you, Blues fan? We're bleeding blue with you. Let's go blues. Let's. Let's go blues. Let's go blues. Let's go blues. What are you wearing? A Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> and I'm a hockey player. <laughs> Let's go blues. Oh, back, back on! Uh, I don't know. Uh, some, obviously. Uh, I mean, the, the uh, you know, neighbors and, and Bull Duke connected for a goal. Uh, Letty had a lot to do with that one. Falk had a lot, to, or Falk had a lot to do with that one. Letty had a lot. The defense, the play of the defense has been more for me, why the game, the, the change in the style of game than anything else. I, I think the defensive play this game is, 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 has more to do with the, the, the score than anything else. Right? Even the fact that they've given up 28 shots at this point isn't, isn't a full negative. Ben has made some great saves, don't get me wrong. But score-wise, I think the play of the defense has done more. Oh, nice stick there, Bull Duke. Needed a little more than that there. Oh! 
That was close. Oh, that almost went in. Uh, I might do some post game. It all depends. I might do a little post game, 10, 15 minutes. All depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, that was an early break from the defense. Uh, I'm not happy with that break. That was not. Playing some better neutral zone play today. No, I mean, that third line, our fourth line's getting a lot of minutes. Uh, maybe not, I mean, but it feels like they're getting more minutes. Sunquist has gotten some decent minutes. Oh, nice little uh, move there. Good passing right there. Good, solid passing. Oh. That's the that's the biggest thing that, that the, 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 the shots that don't go through hurt the Blues more than anything else. That's why I always say it's not about taking the shots. It's about making sure the shots get through. I mean, you're five minutes through, and, and I think you're the shot. No one's taking a shot. Or no, uh, the Kings have taken two shots. You're down, you know, but that's it. Playing a little bit of defense here. A little more than I like this early. I'd like to see him be a little more offensive. Fifteen minutes to go. Oh, Saad, you could have passed that. That's one you should have passed. Oh, we got a penalty power play or penalty power play coming up. I can't move. All messed up. I guess Facebook settled. Is is Facebook uh, okay now? What? No way. Please tell me that's bullshit. Oh, okay. Oh, God, I hate some of this shit. Uh-oh, that penalty went away fast.
Push Navage to the box. Four on four, you gotta gotta you gotta control this. Cannot give up a goal here. Oh, nice stick there, Bennington. Offside. Not sure what you mean, Wayne. Is dealing with the commercial break. Oh, uh, that was when I was taking a break. But earlier today, uh, Facebook was was frozen up. Was frozen up. If you were, you might be behind then. Oh no, I think you're caught up now. That was when when me was I was taking a break. But earlier, uh, Facebook was like really choppy. On YouTube, it was great, but on Facebook, it was choppy. That was when I first came on. I'm taking it that that's since been Here we go. We're back. And if anyone keeps playing this way, Bennington and Hoffer, down the stretch, can continue playing the way they're playing. They have a chance. Probability goes up, definitely. Oh! Dang. Here we go.
What a save! What a save! Great save. Twenty second power play, we got a kill. Good save by Bennington. Oh, that should have been a tripping there. Couple trippings. They're not calling anything. Ah, uh, it's possible. I don't think they will, but it's possible. I mean, it won't be the first time that it's happened. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. Oh, Bullduke, you tried to take off too soon there. Bullduke battles for the puck, but I don't see him winning the battles. Defensive play has been really good this game. I think you're going to hear that from Bannister, at least at this point.
Halfway through the third. Ten minutes remaining in regulation. Chapter 33 to 27 in favor of the Kings. Five to four this period. Also in favor of L.A. Oh, nice shot, Hayes. Big, solid shot. Yeah! Defense! That was a defense goal right there. Yes! And I had to let side go. Motherfucker. Side from Pareko and Hayes. Ah! Nice move, Saad. Big goal from Saad. His 20th of the year. That's four 20-goal scorers. Fifth, I was wrong. Fifth. Big Shen has 20. Yes, it was. Very nice out angle redirect. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. Bennington's been fantastic this game. Fantastic! Bennington. Uh, excuse me. Byfield's dire looks upset. Dejected. Start, 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 get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Yes. Woo that was close. Oh, Blues knocked it down with a high stick. Not a penalty. Thank goodness. Bennington.
Dowdy should have just fired that puck. Should have just let it go. He lets it go. It's in the back of the net. Yeah, baby. Telling you, he should be a Vesna candidate, and he's not going to be, but he should be. Strong glove save there. If Shin passes it, it's in the back of the net. Of course he did. He's a Blackhawks fan. I told you, Blues fans, Blues fans created the the negative negativity that that there is on Bennington. Oh, Kyrou should have had that. Would have given me a big assist. I need to it today. Ah, oh, the big assist I needed today goes away. Seven twelve to go. Ouch. Damn it. I did not need that. Bennington didn't deserve that. Yeah. Uh. That hurt. Yeah, he did. He didn't deserve that. I said three to one blues. I said three to one blues. I remember that. Oh, well, I needed it, though, for my fantasy. <laughs> I definitely need Gorgiev to give up a shit ton of goals against uh, Vancouver tonight. There's a cross check right there. They said they're going to uh, crack down on, and they didn't. Absolute cross check by Kempe prior to that play. That should have been a penalty.
Come on, Blues. 5.25 to go. Blues are up 3-1. to one. Thomas had a good look there that just missed. You know, it's the goal that goes in is kind of a fluke. I mean, Bennington didn't deserve that goal. He made a solid save. You know, the rebound goes in. Probably should have been a cross-check call before the play. Now they're playing prevent defense, and that scares me now. They are absolutely playing. You can see it. The way that they're just popping it out to center, trying to get them out of the play, trying to keep them from getting shots, but they're coming back, right? You're not controlling the puck. That's the thing. Prevent defense, you don't control the puck, and now you ice it. Nope. No icing. That helps. Kaepernick, that was bad. You gotta you gotta commit on that. Well, they're gonna be pulling the goaltender shortly. Oh, they pulled him. Empty net. Bennington holds on. 3.02 to go. Got to get that empty netter. Boy, he deserves the he he deserved the the goose egg on this game, but he's not going to get it. He's made 39 of 40. Blues have uh, only had 30 shots. Thirty-nine of forty. I mean, that's a hell of a game. Looks like I might nail the score. I think it'll end up being four to four to one now. If they're gonna pull a goalie, the Bulls have got to score on that. Absolutely, they have to. Nashville just, they're beating Winnipeg four to one.
Oh, Thomas, you need to hold on to that. I could use that goal from you. Empty net shot just wide. Oh, Bennington should have fired it. That would have been so great for me. Oh, that would have been so great. One fifty six to go. <laughs> I love them. Puck's bouncing around <laughs> like a Mexican jumping bean. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 Oh, Shen, just shoot the frickin' puck. Big say Bennington. I'd like to see the blues do like a, a, a blue metallic helmet. The the silver helmets are kind of growing on me a little bit. Hey, Lance, man. Hey, what's up? Blues needed this one. Bennington was freaking fantastic, and he didn't deserve to lose the goose egg. No, Bennington is the reason why they're they're in this game still. Oh yeah. They, they good defense tonight. Believe it or not, with forty shots, defensive play, not defense, but defensive play was much better tonight. Yeah, it was. It, 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 it was defense because it's, all three of the goals had defense connected to them. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. You had Letty on the first one, and Letty was that. And Letty made that shot. You had Falk on the second one, and then. Pareko on the third, and Pareko was the reason for that goal. So all three of the goals, while they, the, the, the defenseman didn't get the credit for them, 
It was because of the defenseman that the goals happened. Oh, wow. Man, I nailed it. Five to uh, three to one. That's what I said I thought it would be. They they really needed this game. Oh, they did. Uh, needed play. It was a solid game. Solid, solid, solid game tonight. Uh, I, I really happy with with the with the play. Solid, solid uh, play. The the Blues did what they had to do. Um, Torpachinko with that first goal in the first period late set the tone. Neighbors early in the second, getting in front of the net, knocks one in from Falk, um, and then in the third when they needed it. Uh, Pareko fires one towards Sod, not at the net, but towards Sod. Sod tips it in, and that gives them a three nothing lead. They end up Kempe ends up getting a cheap one. I thought Kempe should have got a penalty on that. Just before that puck goes in, he cross checks straight up cross checks. Uh, cross checks um, Pareko, and it doesn't get called. Bring out the Zamboni. So, three stars. Who are your three stars there, bud? Bennington. Um, I think Neighbors deserves a star. He played a great game. And um, trying to think who else. I actually think you would. I think I honestly think this is one of Letty's best, be- better games in a while. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he deserves a star or not. It's tough for me for that third star. But I would say, you know, I would say Bennington first, neighbor second, and I just don't know what about third. Uh, for me, third, I could go Letty or Walker. That yep. first goal was very yep. well done by both of them. They had a lot mm-hmm. to do with it. Walker mm-hmm. Walker gives up that um, – Walker gives up, you know, t- tries to take a shot that, that he fans yep. on. Letty keeps it in, takes the puck down, takes the puck over, fires it towards uh, – Fires it towards Torpachinko. Torpachinko turns and fires it in. Um, but Walker goes from giving that puck up to getting in front of the net. That had a lot to do with it. So um, I, I think that I see some of the guys saying Torpachinko. I'm going with three. Um, three, I think I, I'll go Walker. Um, two is, is Neighbors. Neighbors with the game-winning goal. And then one is is Bennington. Uh, stopping uh, 40 of 41 shots, really should have gotten the shutout. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem with, with Torpchenko getting the third star. I mean, Torpchenko, I mean, it's like I said, is he the best scorer in the world? No. Can he score? Yes. But he also right. plays that game where he's a little tenacious. He's he, he's not going to be like a a, a a guy that's that, that like a Marshawn that takes cheap shots and stuff like that. But he, he seems to know at an early age wh- when to hit and when not to hit somebody, which which there's a lot of guys in this NHL that still don't know that who have been in the league for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, Preds are winning 4-1 to one over the Jets, which kind of hurts us. They're, they're, they're playing hot. They're playing hot. You got the Capitals at the Oilers a little bit later, and the Avalanche, if they could come on Vancouver, beat the shit out of the Avalanche. I need them to score like four goals on Gorgiev <laughs> and pull him in the first period. Right. Uh, I haven't seen the, the three stars yet. Uh, I mean, because I have to watch. I don't get the luck of you guys watching TNT. I have to watch the. Uh... Oh, I got it. Here we go. Third star with an assist. Um, Kevin Hayes. Not sure I buy that completely, no. but he did have a decent no. game. Uh, second star with a goal, a game winning goal. His 21st of the season, Jake Neighbors, and your first star, stopping 40 of 41 LA King shots, getting screwed out of a shutout, the man, the myth, and the legend, Jordan Bennington. Yes, they are. Name, I just talked about that. Um, game they needed tonight. Uh, who do they play next? They got a next. They play on uh, Saturday, right? Yeah. Sat- uh, yeah, Saturday. 
They play uh, against the Wild. Big, big game. Um, I did give tickets away. And then on Sunday, they are at home against the Ducks. They need to win both those games. They absolutely have to win both those games. No, ands, ifs, or buts. They they need to win those two games. I start Bennington on Saturday and Hoffer on Sunday. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, especially since Bennington plays well against Mark andre Fleury. Right? Yep, thank you guys for helping me out there, Wild, on Saturday. Uh, must win games for sure. Yeah, they, they played well tonight. The Blues played well. They did what they had to do. They came out. Um, L.A., first 10 minutes, they're a strong team. The Blues bent, didn't break, uh, didn't give anything up, and, and then when they needed to get a goal, got a goal. Right? Yep. Right? Um, yes, every game from here on out is extremely important. I will every agree game with that. And one thing the Blues can't do is start watching the scoreboard. Just be concerned with yeah. their game. Worry yeah. about them winning. And what yep. happens happens. If they yep. make the playoffs, it, it it's because they they played so great. You know, it, 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 if they don't make it to the playoffs, you know, it's it's it is what it is. But they've yeah, got to continue. Mistakes that were made when the mistakes were made. You know. Yep. Uh, no, I tonight they needed. They were one of uh, two four games on the slate. Uh, they got. I think this is their first or second home TNT game. Yeah. Right? I, I, I you remember you remember two games ago when there was 18 games left, and I said, you know, with the way Nashville's playing, and the Kings have been playing pretty good, and the Wild have been playing pretty good, Vegas has been up and down. That I think the Blues are going to have to go out in their last 18, 14 and four, or 15 and three. Oh yeah, uh, j- just to I make agree. it to the playoffs because those other teams, even if they play 500, they're in the playoffs over the Blues. Yeah. So the Blues have 90, to. Well, you need 95 points. I'm I'm sticking with that. Yeah, you probably right? do. 93 to 95. I I'm saying 95. I'm sticking with 95. The Blues after the day have 71 points. And um my math is horrible, but that's so what like 24? Yeah, 24 points from 95. Right. And they've got what 15 games left? 95 minus 71 24. It's 24. They've played 66 games. So the, so there's 16 left. Yeah. So there's 30, you know, there's 32 points left. Yeah, so so the Blues have to get 24 out of 32 points, which means, yeah. like I said, they're going to have to win their, out of their last 18, yeah. 15 and 3 or 14 and 4. They won't stand a chance. Well, it's 12 games. They need to win. Right now, I'm saying they need to win 12 out of 16. But then, guy, if you win 12 out of 16, you still got teams ahead of you. You've got to catch those teams. They're going to have to win. 16, 12 out of 16 puts you at 95. Yeah, but the other teams also have to have to fall back because they're, they're six to eight points yeah. away from everybody. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I still think 95 points gets in. I think at 95 points you get in, uh, 12 out of 16 could get you in. Right? That that could get you in. So I don't, yeah, I don't I, I I understand what you're saying. We'll just have to disagree on that one. But anyway, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're saying 93 to 95 points, right? You're saying that that's what gets you in. I'm I'm, I'm saying that that's what gives them a good wins chance. is 24. That puts you at 95 points. Well, you've also got to look at the, at the other teams. If the other teams, but then you're not. Then you're saying that 95 is not the number. I'm saying that 95 is the number that the Blues could get to. Um, I, I, you know, I, I think that with the way they are, what are they eight points by six, six to eight points behind everybody now? Uh no, they're six. Yeah, so that's that's three games they've got to win more than the other teams. Yep. And right. you know, it's it's gonna be tough. Um, one thing I, I, you know, I'd like to see them make the playoffs, but if they're going in hot, they could do something. If they back in, I don't see this team getting past the first round. Uh, AC saying 96 or 97 in the West, and if that's the case, the Blues are out. I, I don't see it because at that, that, that point, you're winning 13 out of 16. You can only lose three games from here on out. Yeah. Right? And yeah. not only that, you can't let games go to OT. No. Because you're giving up points. Yep. You can't give up points. That's the other part of this. You can and, and, and you don't. You don't want other teams getting a point in the OT either. Yeah. All right. Um, 
good game. We'll be back on Saturday. Yep. Um, let me take a quick look here. Saturday's game, the daylight savings F's with me pretty bad. Because <laughs> now I'm five hours behind, six yep. hours behind the East. Yep. Uh, and that would be, I think, a two o'clock game for me, uh, seven o'clock at Enterprise. Sunday's game. Okay, that's a later game, too. Yay. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a one o'clock game for me. Uh, seven o'clock at Enterprise, uh, six o'clock at Enterprise. So my thing here does it by East Coast time, not yep. the, yep. I, I can't set, I can't set it for, to put my time. I can't change the time zone. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's, is what it is. You got to win the games you put in front of you between now and out, right? You can't, you can't lose games, mm -hmm. right? Um, the, the team did what they had to do tonight. They, they played well. I think defense played probably one of its best games, even given – and I know that sounds so bad, saying that they gave up 40, you know, 41 shots. The problem with that is that that's – when I'm talking – you look at the defense. They were engaged in the game, and those three goals all came from the defense, from defending players. From and players another thing, if you watch the whole game – there was a lot of those 41 shots that had no chance of going in. Oh, yeah, you know, none. None, none, none. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I think it's, Bennington, it's, it's, Bennington probably faced six high-quality shots. Yeah, probably six to eight, I would say. The rest of them right. were. But there's yeah, a lot he, of them that they would just shoot it on him for a rebound. He was locked in. He was locked yeah. in. Even because I had to watch the L.A. The LA Kings broadcast. Yeah, feed. yeah the feed. And um, they were, you know, consistently – you know, they would say, you know, you, you, he's 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 locked in. You've got to take shots to the side of him to bump him in, and that's what uh, Pareko did with Saad. That was a beautiful, that was beautiful what Pareko did. Mm -hmm. uh, Nashville head to head game in April will be, will be especially huge. Yep. yep, if the Blues could get hot, that could be very well the game that makes the difference. Um, yeah, it could be. Uh, LA had four high danger slots shots in the first, not sure after that, but a high danger shot doesn't necessarily, cause some of those high danger shots were right in Bennington's chest. Yeah. And, and another thing is analytics did not take into account who's shooting the puck. Yeah. Cause if, you, if, if you're trying to tell me a guy that scores three, three goals in a, a year, a defenseman, let's say three goals and 15 assists, and he takes a shot from a high danger area. That shot doesn't have as good of a chance going in if 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 Sidney Crosby made the same shot. That's why I hate this high danger shot crap. It doesn't yeah. take into account the caliber of the player taking that so-called high yeah, danger I shot. Agree. I agree. Right. I, I agree. Uh, well, guys, uh, great game. I'm going to call yep. it. Uh, yep. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, yep. uh, Edmonton can can or pardon me. I need. Washington to beat up on Edmonton tonight because the guy I'm playing has got four Edmonton players, so I need them to get, like, no points. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing from them. Somebody keep McDavid from getting all his face-off wins, too. Um, I, I need that. I didn't get any points tonight, right? So in the first two games, I got zero points, and my guy, the guy I'm going against got three. Mm. I had Niederreiter, uh, O'Reilly, and Thomas and got nothing from those three, right? He had Bushnevich, Forsberg, uh, and Trevor Moore, and Roman Yossi, and ended up with a goal and is that three assists now? So, uh, goal and two assists, three points. Yeah, goal and two assists. So it, it, you know, I'm I'm struggling. <laughs> so I need I need Oshi and Ryan Nugent Hopkins to do something tonight. Those two can go off, but nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so we'll see. Uh, Bennington with a with a solid solid game tonight. Yep. Um, hopefully Gorgiev is a sieve. Gorgiev be a sieve. Gorgiev be a sieve. Gorgiev <laughs> be a sieve. Um, realistically, uh, Nashville and Vegas will each win at least another eight to nine games. I I could see that. I could see that. Uh, you just gotta win the games in front of you, man. That's what it comes down to. Lance, have a great night. Sorry you had to come on late, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, no problem. I'm done, man. Yep. Have a good one, everybody. See yep. you Saturday.